they look inside of it and make sure that nothing's uh, too rusty or shut off valves are working properly and that sort of thing. But uh, we have two low pressure steam boilers. This is our newer one and this is the newer burner that we got two years ago. And it is working much better and it's more efficient than the old one was. However, our old one doesn't run for more than two hours before it fails. And I've had uh, John from Controls and Temporary look at it. They're not 100% sure what it is, but their advice is to put a new control in it, which is the brains of the boiler, inside that panel down there. And it would be identical to what controls this boiler. You say it runs for two hours before it fails. What fails? Uh, there, it just faults, and the red light will come on. And I come in the next morning, and it's cold in the building. So you don't really know what's shutting but it down? They don't know for sure. Is the safety feature something that shuts, yes. that's triggering it to shut down? They each have, uh, like I said, this little brain here, this module here. And if every sequence isn't perfect, it times everything that it does, it shuts down so that you don't have a blow up or something. Mm -hmm. So, in reality, I have one boiler to work with, and I've spent numerous holidays and days off looking at that boiler on my time off to make sure it, when this one was down. So, uh, the new brain that fix it? Well, they think it would. It's not guaranteed. Yeah, that, is that the one that's Yes. It used to be an old uh, oil boiler. No, it's not your gas. No. So we're not sure what the fix is going to actually be and if, if it is going to work. So it, there's a lot of risk involved with uh, you know, changing out the brain and it's not a... Who is the, uh, what did you say you looked at? Johnson Controls and who else? Johnson Controls and Temporite, which is Comfort Systems. Seven two one one one. So we've probably got some sort of pricing on what it'll cost to put a new brain in it, and then versus what the existing thing is worth standing there. Where that we can. We have to. We don't have it currently. But we could come we up could, with something. Yeah. We probably come up with something. So we could maybe do a, an analysis of whether yeah. we throw this much money at it or we don't throw any money at it at all and oh, okay. go to plan B, right? Oh, okay. Thanks. That would be the way to look at it? Mm -hmm. I would guess that box is at least $2,000 just for that one box. And then it would take numerous hours for the technician to come and install it. And this runs every, I mean, this heats everything. Everything but the electric heat which is upper and lower junior high. Yep. And so on the big pressure tank with regard to the water system, you probably want to try to just poke your head back here and see where it's at. And Dennis, if you want to explain what that project's all about. Yeah, recently uh, I noticed a little water in the pipes, and I got to inspecting and saw several of the galvanized pipes are shot. So they need to be replaced, and I cleaned the whole area out and crawled up along the side of the tank and noticed that it's all rusty on the side. And it seems to be a fairly large risk that it will develop a pinhole leak and be of no use to us and actually close the school down if it does that. So recently, we had uh, our number one well pump go bad, and the man came in and put a new well pump in, and he suggested that we put uh, variable frequency drive uh, controllers on both of our well pumps, and if we do that, it will eliminate the water hammer, and the pumps come on at present, it just slams the water at the elbows. And it's extremely hard on the system. And with the new system, we have a pay, payback of somewhere of 10 years or less. 
And so, once again, I called uh, Temp Ride and their uh, technician came out and inspected and saw what we have. We can take this tank out and replace it with three much smaller tanks. I think they're 150 gallons each. And we won't need the big compressor to keep it uh, pressurized since they will have bladders in them. And also, this big tank, it's 14 feet long and it uh, doesn't have a bladder. And it was made, I think, in about 1965. So, I mean, it's really old technology. Yeah. But that, that thing just keeps it uh, aired up. Huh? Yes, that keeps this aired up. Long time. So that bid that uh, they gave us, it will include uh, disposal and taking all this stuff out and putting those tanks in, put in the variable frequency drives. They will replace uh, two backflow presenter valves in the other room. One of them is for sure bad right now, and uh, one of the uh, main two-inch brass valve valves is also bad. They're going to replace that. They would also put a different... Uh, level control on our aeration system next door and they, that would be used to tell the pumps when to come on. The aeration two system. system? Yes, next door we have an aeration system for water purification. So it, the water is aerated, kills the bacteria, then goes through UV lamps and the rest of it's killed. Like an ozone? Well, it's just pumping uh, atmosphere into, oh, the, into the water. So. It's aerated and it goes through the UV system and then it comes into this tank and, and avoids the school use. Another problem we have is uh, fairly nasty tasting water in the lower primary building, especially at times. And I think a lot of it's because this tank is so sort of musty inside. So we did how much the. Uh, well, we got, two, we got two bids on it. We had one Energy Star Builders. Uh, came in with a bid of almost $25,000 to fit to do this. Then we had uh, Comfort Systems USA come in and they gave us a bid of around $15,000. So I feel very comfortable with uh, Comfort Systems being able to do this. They have the engineers and stuff who understand our water treatment system and how that's going to fit in with, uh, you know, this pressure tank. It is something like Dennis has said, this is a thing that closes the school down. Yes. Does the heater also close the school down? Oh, it does. Yeah. <laughs> if they quit. I mean, it's as good when you put these are high priority. Yeah. There's not enough like this. Especially with the big water hammer going on. So I mean, it's going to well, there's not the electric heat. Oh, the water hammer. Right. The electric heat is only a small portion of the school. Yeah. You know, not even really a third of the whole school. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I mean, if I couldn't get it going and uh, Comfort Systems wasn't able to come for four hours or five hours, and then it took another five hours to fix it, well, you would be looking at a day, day down and possibly freezing up rooms. Yeah. And we've had uh, three rooms. Well, one room froze twice, another room froze once, and then I've had three down in the lower primary. So it's a little scary yeah. when it's 20 below zero. Can I ask you a question that's yeah. off topic? Now you guys, you don't come, you have to fall within OSHA guidelines, I don't believe, right? For what? For safety? Okay. Uh, you, the safety, I mean, is it, are schools inspected for any kind of uh, standards as far as? The fire marshal, fire marshal comes mm -hmm. by once a year and because so, I was going to, I mean, just seeing a few things right off the top of my head, I think uh, we have flammables being stored in a boiler room, which in industry would be a huge uh, bad thing. Right. And as far as, you know, well, well, the maintenance shop looks like. And then, and I noticed we've got storage of things in front of our MCC panels. Um, typically, right. you're supposed to have a three foot. Well, I've been trying to get this cleaned out in preparation for the And then the other thing I was going to ask is, is this, it's probably a dumb question, but is this the only option we have for storing uh, stuff in a boiler room? 
Do we have other options of uh, storage of things? We don't. I think that may in the future be uh, something we should take a look. This this room to me should be I would a lot cleaner and room. clutter free. Because this is a I mean this is a boiler. We have got you know control explosion going on here to heat the water up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, so I agree with you. I mean, there, there's issues here that, you know, it's not ideal by any means. It's not ideal. Yeah. When I first came, all the paint was over here, and I've been moving it. I got a bunch next door in the safe over there. Mm -hmm. But I just don't have a storage room that's heated to store my paint. And the fire marshal has never written it out. I'm surprised. I'm, I'm worried if, if it. something were to happen in here. Because we have flammables being stored, what kind of liability we would be faced with? Well, I I trust that you know the fire marshal when they come through, they're gauging us based off of what the standards are for school districts mm -hmm. and what their expectation would be for us. Um, I wouldn't mind if, if it's allowed to, if we know the fire marshal's coming, if I could mm -hmm. take along. Okay. A lot of times they're unannounced when they come through. Mm -hmm. So, okay. you know, but if, if we can do that, we'll make arrangements for it. Okay. And then the water in the back door. Water is treated by at least two lamps. Fred and I have one burned out, and I've got four on order. But this is well water, right? Yes. And why do we, why do we treat it? Is there a, a, a regulatory reason? Yes, it's a regulatory reason for the fact of water that we're using first. They, they came in and they tested the water out and they determined that the type of particulate in the water did, uh, required a certain filtration. Do you have those reports that I can look at something? I'm going to have to dig them out for you. Okay. See what they come back for you. Well, does it function well? Yes, it is. Yep. When the wall pump went bad, I thought it hit broken. But after scratching the heads for a while, we figured out the wall pump was there. This, this pump house was put in, what, about 10 years ago now? like four or five years before I came on the way. Just this section is that wrong? Yeah. Just this section here at the bottom of the boiler room. I guess you're the one with the lights on the wires. Mm -hmm. 